Hello, I'm Captain Andrea. And I'm Commander Matthew. And welcome to Trek Back Tuesday. This is the series where we seek out old toys and new merchandise from across the Star Trek universe. Something looks a little different here today, Commander Matthew. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, as you can see here, we've got a bunch of random parts laid out on our table. And, uh, well, the captain doesn't actually know what we have today, because I've kept this a secret from her. Section 31 just declassified it, okay? It's not my fault. You know how I feel about surprises. I'm aware. They better be good. I think this will not disappoint you, Captain. So we have two different things here today from Triple Fiction Productions. They do 3D printing, and they specifically do 3D printing for Star Trek things. Ooh. So uh, really, we'll have to start opening things up here, but they do a lot of different things, not just for toys, but also prop replicas. Oh, I do enjoy that. So today we have two different things, and uh, we're going to have to actually put one of them together in front of you. So let's, I guess let's start with that, actually. So we have pieces that go for this one here. I haven't told the captain what it is yet, but I'm pretty sure she'll figure it out once we get moving along. So let's go ahead and unpeel these packs and take a look at what we got here and see if the captain can decipher just exactly what this mystery object is. Hmm. Oh, this is actually really cool. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just going to keep making happy sounds until we finish it. This actually looks really cool. Any ideas yet, Captain? Oh, well, I mean, I would say it's a holodeck. Mm-hmm. This is the holodeck archway from Triple Fiction Productions. Very impressive looking one. So I've now put it all together, and yes, Captain, it is the holodeck archway from the Next Generation series. This looks fantastic. Yeah, it's all 3D printed by this one folk in Florida from Triple Fiction Productions. Pretty nice, I gotta say. I'm... It's actually my first time looking at it also. I've basically kept it in that bubble wrap for quite some time until today when we finally unveiled it. So, Captain, if you'd like to grab your side of the door, I'll grab mine, and I'll show you guys at home that this, in fact, does function. Okay, ready? One, two, three. And... Look who's there! Well, hey, look at that. It's Lieutenant Barclay, just hanging out in the holodeck suite. Of course he is. Surprise, surprise. Wouldn't happen any other way. Exactly. But, hey, it fits together really smoothly, doesn't it? <laughs> that is impressive. Yeah. So it's a labor of love, but it's not a cheap labor of love because these things do not run cheap no. in most cases. Uh, most 3D printing, I wouldn't expect to run um, too cheaply. Yeah, but it's pretty nice. But that's not all I bought. I have one other item here as well. If you want to move the holodeck archway out of the way, I'll okay. show you this. Oop. Oh, one quick note. This is extremely light. Yeah, all this stuff oh. is pretty light. <laughs> there goes Sparkly. No surprise there. Sparkly's yeah. down. Yeah. So this is very impressive. I also have here with us today... Captain's chair aboard the Defiant. Ooh. Again, very lightweight. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I don't know how else to say it. I, this is this is a work of art. It really is. I mean, a traditional work of art, but it is really definitely. Is. This this is gorgeous. I love the color. Um, for both of them, the color that they used, you know, the color material that they used is just perfect. The decals are spot on. The craftsmanship in this is just fantastic. It's really, really cool Defiant chair. So Playmates actually did do their own Defiant chair, but it was part of like a build a diorama set essentially. And uh, you know, I kind of like this one because also that that was a different scale for some reason too. I don't know why they made them like five inches instead of the normal size. Weird. It's a little bit bigger. So this is actually in scale with the typical Playmates Star Trek figures. Ooh. And well, to prove what do that you know? point, oh well, it's time for an inspection from Captain Cisco. Let's see if we can get him in the chair. Um, with those legs? Oh, I kind of wonder. Well, luckily he's actually, his legs aren't as bad as we might think, but let's see if we get him in there. He, he hangs a little bit out, but uh, yeah, he's, he's actually in there. It looks pretty good. I am impressed. Let me like, Mr. Someone, Mr. Nog, go make me some jambalaya. You get Dax in there too, just because why the heck not? Because she's Dax and she deserves to be there. Exactly. But this is really cool. So yeah, these are the two that I got. So Triple Fiction Productions, they do have an online store. They have a website where you can order things from. Uh, and a big part of that too is uh, because these are basically labors of love and made by one person, the inventory tends to vary depending on what's been made. Oh, of course. I like that. You're basically supporting a small business. Exactly. Doing this and just looking at this, it is worth it. Yeah, it stuff's really, really cool looking. So not only does Triple Fiction Productions make items in scale for these Playmates figures, they also do for the slightly smaller Galoob Star Trek figures and the slightly bigger uh, Mego figures and the Diamond Scythe and Art Asylum figures. Wow. So they cover all of the scales. Not only that, they cover really all the different series. You're going to get stuff from the original series, from Next Generation, from Voyager, and from Deep Space Nine. What about Enterprise? 
Not really much yet for Enterprise, because uh, we haven't really looked at those toys yet on this channel. Those toys kind of suffer from a problem we'll, we'll talk about one day. That's, yeah, that's a different story, but this is this is wonderful work. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, you know, I don't really buy a lot of 3D printed items, typically because of one issue I have. And I kind of have the problem here. I believe it's called stringing. And you can kind of see it a little better when I show you the chair from behind. Uh, I believe this, the term is stringing because... It's when it's printing out the layers and like maybe one dries too soon or whatever reason or different reasons. You get a lot of these lines, a lot of this weird texture. That just thing I just personally don't like. I don't know a way around that. It might just be the printer you have yeah, is what affects that. So, yeah. so that was something I was a little bit concerned about when I bought these as well because I wanted to know just how deep those lines are going to be. They're noticeable, but I don't think they take away to be completely honest from this. No, not at all. I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but in this case, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that makes me really distracted. If anything, in the holodeck, I do see a little bit of something funky on the edges. Uh, you can tell that it didn't necessarily print out as smoothly. That distracts me a little bit more than the chair, and even then, that's Yeah, and luckily, that's actually the backside you're noticing on, too, so that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it doesn't really bother me that much at all. But I'm pretty sure since this is not mass-produced, it's made by one person, uh, they will take time. I'm sure if there's a mistake, they're probably not going to just give you a mistake. They're going to reprint it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they'll do whatever they can to try and find ways to make it work. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this stuff, and I might buy a few other items from this guy. Both diorama and maybe some props, because he's done a lot of props as well Ooh, from the different shows. I do enjoy good props. Yeah, those are in scale, of course, with you and I instead of these action figures. So. Oh, yeah, you need to get some of those. <laughs> and... Weapons, 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 oh, weapons, weapons. I'll let Quark know we're coming. Yes. So overall, very happy with these items. Definitely going to be getting some more in the near future. If you want to look for some of these items or pick up any for yourself, go to triple-fictionproductions.net. Take a look at all the stuff he's got on sale. And also check out his Facebook page, because that's where he updates the most okay. with what he's got printed or what's coming on the way very soon. And with that, I'm Captain Andrea. I'm Commander Matthew. Thanks for watching this episode of Trek Back Tuesday. We'll see you next time. And until then, live long and buy toys. Well, Reginald, thank you for speaking with me today. I'm glad to hear you've been using the holodeck more responsibly. Oh, yes, Counselor. Our talks have most certainly helped me learn the error of my ways. Nothing unusual about my holodeck routines anymore. Captain Barclay, the Jem'Hadar are launching another strike on the Federation, and only you can stop them. Fire the Barclay torpedoes. You know, the ones I invented, that are unstoppable and single-handedly defeated the Borg, Romulans, and my third grade teacher who said I would never amount to anything. Aye aye, Captain. You're so smart and handsome, it makes my symbiote quiver. Oh, Reg! You have a living sex symbol who fulfills all my needs! Of course I am, Yeoman. Now hold me tighter. Tighter until I can't breathe! Oh, Reg! I'll do whatever you say! I'm the goddess of empathy! Yes, you are, baby. Yes, you are. This ghost is bogus, Reginaldo. We can't beat it, man. Of course we can't, dudes. Set streams to full blast and aim for the flat top. You got it, Reg. Your engineering skills are no match for the paranormal. Cowabunga! Thank you, Mr. Barkley, for saving my children and kicking that deadbeat husband of mine to the curb. Indeed. Reginald is a much better father and husband than I could ever be. Yay, Yay Uncle, Uncle Reginald! Reginald. Yay for Uncle Reginald! Pew 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 pew! Yes, yay for Barclay! Yay for Barclay! Go down, down this slide with us, Uncle, Uncle Reginald! Wee! Yup, everything is perfectly normal with all of my holodeck routines now. 100% absolutely, positively normal. That's good to hear, Reginald. An odd way to phrase that, but still reassuring. Excuse me. I thought no one else was here. If anyone finds a ceremonial lasso, have it sent to my quarters. Good day.